Well, John, what's your assessment? I thought we were really poor today, and Leighton Orient thoroughly deserved to win the game. Uh, we, you know, we, we just didn't didn't show any of the things that we've been showing over the past few months. I think to put ourselves in this position, and uh, yeah, I, I did. I thought we looked like a, a poor side in in every respect today. Really, really disappointed. We obviously huffed and puffed, had a go in the second half, um, but we didn't look like scoring. I didn't think, and uh, if any side was going to score in the second half, I thought it was Orient. So, I think overall, the the takeaway is that um, we were well, well below par. Yeah, you'll be the first to admit it was a performance well below the standards that this group have set themselves over the course of this season. What do you put it down to ultimately? I think it's hard to properly put a finger on it at this stage. We, it's obviously our job. We've got to make sure that we watch the game back, come back in uh, next week and, and um, you know, try and figure out what's, what exactly went wrong. Uh, that was the first time, honestly the first time really, uh, that I've, I've looked at the side and, and thought they were unrecognisable from the side that we've seen for so long this season, the side that's been so good for so long this season. and. Um, that was a that was a real concern, I think, because um, even even when we when we lost to Blackpool here, um, I think the circumstances were a bit different. Obviously, went down to ten men, and uh, when we've lost games in recent weeks, they've they've been by the odd goal. But today, I just thought we got turned over by a side who were much better on the day, and, and that is a concern. Had some control at the start of the game, but there was obviously that spell where they scored two quick fire goals and and sort of put their stamp on the game. What do you put that down to? I thought that it, we were fine at the start of the game, but. It's not good enough to be fine for 15, 20 minutes. You've got to be, you've got to be good for, for 90 minutes at, at any level. We haven't had an easy game all season, and um, I you know, keep telling the lads that there's, there's never, they're never going to be getting, you know, given a free ride. Um, we, we had a couple of chances. We, we didn't threaten quite enough. We didn't quite take um, control of the game properly. Um, we got done by a, a fairly simple goal, a one-two, a nice goal, but we didn't deal with it properly. And then we conceded from, from two set pieces. And I thought. That was one of the big differences between the, the two sides today. Every time we got a set piece, I thought we ended up chipping it into the goalkeeper's hands, hitting the first man, didn't quite show that desire or the um, the energy to really get on the end of anything. And late in Orient, every time they had one, they looked really dangerous. Uh, that's been very, very unlike us all season. That's uncharacteristic of the way we've been. Colby Bishop, it's unlike him to miss from 12 yards. What impact did that have on the game? I think obviously it changes what uh, happens at half time we end up going 3-0 down at half time instead of 2-1 all in the space of four or five minutes and that changes everything but uh, you know I, I still think at, at 2-0 having not scored the penalty we need to make sure that our heads don't drop and, um, and we don't end up going and conceding straight down the other end and uh, that was the biggest disappointment for me I thought well, 1-0 um, as soon as they scored and things hadn't quite gone for us we, we went from a side that pretty much every other game this season when we've gone a goal down we've looked a real threat and looked like we're going to get back into it to a side that just sort of didn't um, didn't really perform under under the pressure so um, that was that was more of a disappointment than any penalties. What did you change at half time aside from the substitutions? We changed the shape slightly um, we thought it was it was a good way of just getting players on the pitch that were um, that were energetic and, and I thought uh, Tom Lowry did really well I thought Terry showed plenty of endeavour as well I thought they were the, probably the two players that could come out of the game with with credit today um, and yeah I thought they, they did change the dynamic of the game but we, we just didn't look like scoring we, we ended up huffing and puffing and um, we got in plenty of good areas but um, again hit the, hit the front man on, on a lot of the crosses um, too many passes going wayward too many touches not quite being there and, and yeah didn't threaten the goal Tom Lowry back out there for the first time since the start of the season how much of a boost is that? I think that's the big positive of the day is that we've, we've got Tom through uh, 45 minutes, he's, he's looked good in training, I thought he looked good again today, so I think if we're looking for positive today, that's probably the only one. And just finally, what can you say to the lads after a result like this? Oh, it's a big sort of uh, stage of the season for us, it's a big big moment where there's there's two ways we go, um, feel sorry for ourselves and, and think that uh, the, the form over the past few weeks and the results that we've been getting over the past few weeks is going to dent us um, or you know, get back on it and still realise that by hook or crook somehow we're still top of the league and we've got another chance to go again at the weekend and, and football gives you that, we've, we've got 19 more games, we've, we've shown we're more than capable of putting runs together, we're more than capable of winning games. Um, you know, we're a side that did some brilliant things here in, in recent weeks and uh, yeah, have, just haven't been on it recently. So the message is I think that we've, we've got to be disappointed with the way we've performed today, um, but there's still plenty of opportunity.